Hey everyone and welcome to VFX Vibe once again and in today's video we are going to see how we can export our tracking data from Mocha to After Effects and Nuke. Yes, this will be the second video of our ongoing series which is Mocha 101. So without any delay, let's get started. As you can see over here, as we discussed introduction to Mocha in last class and we did some basic tracking. So if you want to export that tracking data from Mocha to Nuke or After Effects, so what should be the best way to export that thing? We are going to see that. So here, as you can see over here, I have my data tracked. So if I'm going to play it, automatically it will play. So here, what I'm going to do to export any data, just you have to select that layer. So keep it in mind that we can export our tracking data as well as we can export our shape data as well. So probably shape data we are going to see on upcoming videos. So today only we are going to see how we can export our tracking data. To export our tracking data, you must have in track tab. And here, as you can see, we have export track and export a shape. So we are not going to touch shape. So we are going to export our tracking data. The first thing first we are going to see for Nuke. So if I'm going to export track, so our export tab will open and here in list, we have multiple options to track, right? As you can see over, I have multiple things for After Effects, then we can export uh, Alembic Mesh as well for Autodex, for uh, Scylla Hot, many, many more things. In fact, we can export for uh, Final Cut Pro as well. Here, as you can see, I have Nuke 7 Tracker, I have Nuke ASCII, Nuke Corner Pin, Nuke Mesh Tracker and multiple things. So what we are going to do, we are going to export Nuke Corner pin right if you want to export as a text file you can export it whatever you want you can do it so i am going to export nuke corner pin right so as i'm going to select my new corner pin we have two options to do that one is copy to clipboard and one another one is save so if i'm going to hit save it will ask where you want to save. So I am going over here and I can make a new folder which will be export. And in export, I am going to save or might be I can name a van underscore track, something like that. And I'm going to save it, right? Let's jump to Nuke and see how we can use it. Okay, here in Nuke, as you can see, I have my van data and I have another thing called clean plate. So I want to change this ambulance text to police text. So how we can do that? Simple. You remember we have exported our data. So if I want to import that data, so what I need to do just you need to navigate to your folder and just you have to drag and drop. So whenever you are going to drag and drop, what will happen? A corner pin 2D will come and by using this method also you can export and import your data inside Nuke. If you remember, I have another option called copy to clipboard. So if you don't want to save it inside your hard drive, so just copy to clipboard and keep it in mind, you have to select what kind of data you want to copy, right? So I want copy data for Nuke and I'm going over here and just you don't need to do anything. Just you have to click control V over here and same data will come over here as well. So by both way, you can export your tracking data from Mocha to Nuke. To use it, what I can do, uh, you can use any anyone. So here I can see I have my alpha, but I am getting my artifact. So what do you need to do? You need to hit tab and type a node called pre-mult and I'm going to use my pre-mult over here. Right, I'm going to use pre mult and automatically my all artifacts will gone. And if I'm going to hit M on keyboard and I'm going to merge my both information, something like that, and what will happen on first frame, it will match perfectly, right? So I'm not going to do very high fundu comp because already we have discussed that thing in uh, earlier videos. So if you want, I can give link to I button. As you can see over here, I am having my data matched on first frame, but if I'm going to play it, it won't go with the motion, right? What I need to do that I need to connect my corner pin 2D over here. And as you can see, something happened because I need to fix that 
tracking data as per my requirement so what i need to do do that just go to corner pin 2d and i'm going to put one over here and from here i'm going to tap from right and i'm going to hit copy to right as i'm going to hit copy to what will happen your data won't move as per your tracking right so what you need to do that just you have to click over here and just do no animation right so all four information should be no information no animation right something like that by doing that as you can see over here as i'm going over here corner pin 2d my scaling will match and my data is moving or my data is going with my track data right so if i'm going to check from merge what will happen my tracking data is going with my track right something like that and as you can see at last it's sliding little bit so there are two ways to fix it you can fix it inside your mocha or you can fix it inside your nuke as well so how we can fix it just take a transform node just before your corner pin 2d and just try to arrange your anchor point something like that and what you need to do just select this thing and set animation or set key just go to last frame and as you can see there is little slide select your handles and just hit for a numeric keypad and i'm going to animate that information right and if i'm going to play this data or play this footage what will happen my tracking will go as per my camera is moving so this is the way how we can fix few slidings if you want you can fix it in mocha or you can fix it in nuke itself right after nuke we have to see how we can export our tracking data for after effect same way i can go to mocha and here i am going to click on export tracking and if you can see over here i have lots of options for uh, after effect as well like after effect cc power pin you can you can export whatever you want or however you want so for this what i'm going to do i am going to use after effect corner pin you can use whatever or what kind of data you need you can do it for this case i am going to use after effect corner pin right so i am going to select after effect corner pin dot txt keep it in mind it's dot txt and again i'm going to save it same way i can uh, use that data like uh, uh, van underscore ae might be right just save it right now jump to after effect and let's see how we can use it okay as you can see over here i have all my footages imported to after effect and my clean plate is also inside my after effect so if you want to use your exported data inside after effect how you can do that basically you can directly use your tracking data to your clean plate or any other layer whatever you want but uh, i normally prefer to take solid or might be i can take a null object null object will be good for me and how i can do that just navigate to your export data like van underscore ae dot txt i'm going to double click it just you have to control a select all and control c and now just select your null object and you can directly hit control v so as you're going to hit control v on anchor point as you can see i have all the tracking information applied on my null object right so if you want to parent your null object or if you want to parent your clean up dot png to null object it's pretty simple just select your pick whip and just connect to null object so what will happen automatically you can see your tracking data or your data is moving or your clean plate is moving with the camera movement if you want to fix your sliding yes definitely you can do it uh, the same way which we earlier did it in nuke so you can fix it as well now another way to uh, export your tracking data from mocha is just export track just select whatever you want to export and just copy to clipboard simple and i'm going over here same way i'm going to take a null object process will be same and in null object directly i'm going to hit control v the same way your null data will carry all the transformation uh, information in null and if you want to connect your clean plate or clean up 
to null you can connect it and as you can see your data is moving or your clean plate is moving as per your tracking information so these are few way to export your tracking data for nuke and after effect so i'm hoping that this video will help you to understand the process of exporting data from mocha to nuke and after effect and if you think that this video is helping you please don't forget to like this video share this video and if you're new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe if you have any suggestions to this series please also don't forget to comment down below with this said this is wfx vibe signing off have a good day